It's time for another HydroView tutorial. Today we're going to talk about dashboards. Dashboards organize and display our most important data. They give us key info at a glance. Dashboards work with desktop and mobile devices. To get to dashboards, we click the gauge icon in HydroView's left margin. This is the dashboards page. We already have a dashboard set up and that's what we're looking at here. These boxes are called cards. They contain our most critical data and they're really what dashboards are all about. The Refresh Data button is useful for making sure we always look at the most recent information. To add a card or edit an existing one, we click the Edit button. But let's start a new dashboard from scratch. We'll click the arrow over here on the left and select New Dashboard. And now we need to provide a good name for our dashboard. At this point, we can add our first card by clicking Edit, followed by the large plus icon. We can choose from three types of cards. There's an overview card, which gives us info about how a given parameter is changing over time. It also displays a map, so we know at a glance where the data is coming from. The next option is a relative point card, which shows us whether a specific parameter is within a certain range. And the last option is a custom card, which lets us choose what the card will show. Let's try an overview card. It's important to create a descriptive name for every new card. After entering a name, we choose a location. An overview card has three sections by default, but we can delete a section by clicking the trash can icon. Let's get rid of a couple of these. Now our card has nothing but a map. If we want to add information to this card, we can click the Add Another Section button. Let's click this first drop-down menu and select the Latest Reading option. We'll select the Temperature parameter. Next, we need to choose a unit. Celsius should work. The preview over here on the right shows us that our card will display the latest temperature reading for the selected location. Maybe we'd like to see how a parameter has changed over some period of time. We can click the drop-down menu and choose Change Over Time. And now we need a parameter. It's probably best to stick with one parameter per card just to keep things simple. So we'll go with temperature again. In the next drop-down menu, we'll pick 30 minutes. So the bottom section of our new card will show us how temperature has changed over the last 30 minutes at this location. The Show Graph by Default button gives us a graph in the bottom section instead of a number. That's the way this card will look whenever we log into HydroView. But we can toggle back and forth with this little gray button. If we're happy with our card, we're ready to click Done. Before we finish up, why not add a relative point card? As before, we have to name our card and pick a location. A relative point card always has just one section. We can't add more, but we do need to pick a parameter. Let's go with temperature again, and we'll stay with Celsius. When we're setting these next two fields, we're actually setting alarm limits. The top box is the upper limit, and the bottom box is the lower limit. And then we can check this box if we want to get an SMS notification whenever an alarm is triggered. If we want, we can add multiple phone numbers. We click Done to save this card. Now we have a new relative point card. But let's say we want the same exact information for another location. We can click Duplicate this card, change the name, change the location, select another parameter and unit, set limits, and enter a phone number for SMS notifications. There's a note right here telling us alarms won't take effect until the next data upload. That means we don't have to worry about triggering an alarm while we're setting up this card. But the next time HydroView gets data from this location, an alarm will get triggered if the parameter is outside the limits. And now you're a HydroView Dashboards expert! Thanks for watching! Check out our other tutorials on the In Situ YouTube channel to learn more about HydroView or visit in-situ.com.